just kind of say about the run game and how the offensive line performed today? Uh, you know, I think coming in this game, we knew, uh, Coach Dice said it all, we, we had to win up front, and I think that the O-line did a crazy job. You know, it was just it was just unbelievable, the holes that, you know, that was open today. And, uh, you know, uh, the running back room, we capitalized off of it. So, yeah. You know, a lot of people make a lot about some of Dice and Garrett Riley's offense being an air raid, pass it, throw the ball, you know, a lot of offense. But it seems like the running game is really important to make this thing go. Do you agree with that? Oh, yeah. Uh, most definitely, uh, you know, uh, when you get in the run game started, you know, you can open up, with, you know, uh, this is more like an air raid, so uh, we really, like, made it a big deal in the running back room that, like, any opportunity you get, you know, go score. And so, like, you know, I feel like that we just got to keep capitalizing and do, do what we do, like, today. From the very first play of the game, you had a nice long run. Did you feel like early on you were going to have that kind of success today? Oh, yeah. You know, uh, when... I come into the game and you know I can I can pretty much tell like what's gonna happen and I, I saw on the first run when when I had that pretty good run I was like it's gonna be a good day. What did you see on that on that run? Did you see the trip? No. I seen I seen a big hole. That's what I seen. <laughs> Massive. Y'all had a couple of short drives, one minute forty to so number two, eleven seconds. How important is that in offense to get those short drives and get the get the offense back on the sideline? Uh, you know, just keeping everybody up. You know, the uh, he had a, a big thing to do with the game. You know, uh, people were tired. We just had to push through it, and uh, that's what we worked for in the offseason to just keep pushing through in the fourth quarter. During the TV broadcast, they showed that right now you lead power five running backs in yards per carry. Does, does that accomplishment mean anything? You know, it means a, a, a big thing to me. It just uh, shows me that I got to keep working harder, too, because, uh, you know, it's pretty cool leading uh, the power five and, you know, yards per carry. But, you know, I got bigger goals. It just shows me that I can do more. And so every opportunity I get, you know, I try to make the most of it. You talked about the running back room. With the game on the line, Amari breaks that long 63-yarder. How, how proud of him were you uh, when he made that play? I was, I was so proud because, you know, they uh, SMU, they were getting momentum. And then when he broke it and, and I seen him, and I mean, it was just like a proud moment, you know. Because we, we talk about it, and uh, you know, we was just like, we got to uh, end the game, finish the game. And uh, when he broke it, it was just like, it was like, you know, a proud moment. I just I just gave him a big hug. I was like, thank you. How, how satisfying is it to win this game, beat a team that you're the rival at their place? Uh, you know, it's one thing to win at home, but when you can go and play on the road and, and Get a win, especially in a game like this, sold out. It's a big, it's a big deal, and you know, uh, we all knew that they had, you know, a chip on their shoulder with the the staff movement and stuff. So you know, we just had to keep our composure in our head and uh, just go out and play. How did you feel like you and your teammates handled this week? Coach Ike returned at SMU with crowd and atmosphere. Uh, I mean, he already knew that the uh, the crowd was gonna feel some type of way about you know the whole situation, and you know, the coaching staff all week. They just told us like we just gotta focus on our like what we do like do your job don't do anything more anything let's just do your job so you know we just really focus on that and we just got on a, a good track early. How tough is two Max more? Duggan? How, how tough is Max Duggan? Oh yeah, he, he's tough. You know, he uh, he since I've been here at TCU, he's played through a lot, and you know, uh, he got great leadership. And you know, when when he's going, you know, the office is flowing. And you know it's, it's it's hard to take him out, so you know it feels good having a tough quarterback. So were you down there in the fourth quarter? Oh yeah. You were down? Oh 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 no 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 no. That was that was about to be a, a fifty yard. Oh yeah, it was definitely. I was not down at all. How about that catch? Oh yeah. You know I, I talked to the running back room all the time. I told him I got the best hands. I just got to throw it. You know. <laughs> Anything else for?